Hey everybody, I'm Andy, and I've come up with what I think is the ultimate affordable portable practice rig. That's a mouthful. Let's get on with it. I don't use the word ultimate ever, but currently I can't get anything better than this for my needs. I'm talking about practicing on the sofa or outside when you can't make any noise and you have to use headphones. We all know that practicing equals progress and that we should be practicing regularly, if not daily. I also know that there's many, many types of excuses we can come up with for just not practicing properly. And what I mean by practicing is actually progressing in guitar playing, which is currently something I'm really, really trying to do. And yes, we can all sit and noodle and play the same riffs that we've been playing for the past, I don't know, 100% of your guitar career. But practicing means actually having a schedule and actually sticking to it with some learning materials. I'm lucky enough to have many practice rig solutions available to me. So I've got some favorites and that's the Katana Air from Boss. I've got some tube amps and a Torpedo Live for silent practicing. I've got my phone and an audio interface and bias effects and amplitude and garage band and stuff like that. However, sometimes those things are just too complicated or there's too many cables. So I wanted to create something that meant that I could just plug in and practice properly. So I came up with this. This is the Blackstar um, Guitar Geek modded Bluetooth edition. And um, what this is, is quite simply, it's, it's that, so that headphone amp with a Bluetooth receiver stuck on it that I got for about three or four bucks. And that's coming out of the headphones of the Bluetooth receiver into the aux in of the Amplug 2. And it's pretty phenomenal. Now you could end the video there and pop off to wherever you buy your stuff from and buy a Bluetooth receiver and buy one of these headphone amp things and away you go. However, I'm gonna be giving this one away, this actual one, because I've got two. And Blackstar did send me uh, these two, so I could give one away and keep one for myself. Uh, I must say I'm not being paid for the video, but I, I did receive these for free because I wanted to give one to you. So if you want to be the one that wins this, all you have to do is stick around to the end because I'll be asking a question based on the content of this video. I will uh, plug it into my guitar. We might notice also that it goes in there without any problems of falling out and it's not very heavy. So you can even turn, if you've got like a different guitar, this swivels around, which is very cool. Um, if I had a permanent solution, I'd probably even clip that to the little strap button there because it does tend to flop around a little bit, but that would be a nice solution. Don't need it at the moment. Um, it also does fit in other guitars. Let's try, uh, let's try that one because it's the nearest one. So that one goes in there like so. If you were um, clever enough to put a geez, different cable on there, then you could put it like that. So currently that won't, Will it fit in there? It won't comfortably fit in there. Ah, but it will fit in there. So if you've got a Les Paul or something, it will also go in there, but you might want a, a right angled cable. But that's up to you, I'm not doing all the work. Let's plug it in here how it sounds. Now we have an issue that if I plug headphones into this, you can't hear what I'm hearing. So I'm going to go through, where is it? There, the Zoom H1N recorder. So I'm gonna come out of the headphone out of the Black Star into the line in of the H1. There we go. Um, and then I'll plug my headphones into the zoom. So you're not gonna be hearing exactly what this sounds like because the zoom does add a little bit of um, its own little uh, nuances, sometimes noise, but uh, I'll try and set it the best I can. On with the headphones, and this is how I practice. So that's the kind of practicing warming up stuff that I do. However, um, if I were to do it like that, I would just end up noodling some, some pentatonic scales, and I definitely would not have a productive short practice. So this is where the Bluetooth receiver comes in. Turn it on. Okay, and now comes a clever part. Let's go for phone, settings, Bluetooth. It is now connected and I go to my Dropbox and I've got some backing tracks from Elevated Jam Tracks and you can find those in the link beneath this video. They are absolutely superb and great for playing along with. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, some nice A major playing and nice A major backing track there. However, um, I want a bit of reverb, and this thing comes with three different amps and three different types of effects. First is chorus. We've got delay. It also has three different type of amps. You've got clean, which is what you've been hearing. But if you really dig it, you can, you can get a little bit of bite. It's kind of tuby, dare I say it. Then you've got an overdriven channel. Then you've got a lead channel. So you've got three amps, the clean, the overdrive, and the lead, which do a really, really good job. Then you've got three effects. You've got chorus, uh, delay, and reverb. And those three effects have three different settings. And you access those by pressing the effects button and then pressing the on off. Let's take those off and talk more about the thing. Whoo, it's getting hot in here. So this little device that I've built from two other devices has taken my practice regime from a little unmotivated sometimes because I have to you know, plug in and stuff, which is super first world problem to, uh, oh, I can't wait to practice. I just sit on the couch and um, Bluetooth some backing tracks over. If 50 bucks is too rich for your liking, then you can get one of these, which is the Harley Benton classic rock plug or one like this. This is about 15 bucks, taking the cost from 50 to about 20 bucks in total. Um, there are many others on the market, not just the Harley Benton. There's some other unbranded stuff, which is about the same price. However, in my opinion, it's worth it to shell out a little bit more money because this actually sounds great and that inspires me to play. Finally, I'm going to tell you how you can win one of these ultimate practice rig things. Uh, all you have to do is answer a question and put your answer into the comments. The question is, what is the name of the provider of the backing tracks that I used in this video? What's the name of the provider of the backing tracks I used in this video? Uh, they're not associated with me. I bought the backing tracks. I asked for permission to use them, but I thought I'd give them a little plug because they're brilliant. A little amp plug. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are enjoying guitar. I hope that you're practicing daily. I know I will be with this. It's the end of this video, but it's not the end of my channel. There are plenty more videos for you to go and see. So there's some floating around your screen now. My name is Andy and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.